believe it or not, I used to enjoy coming to school. <laughs> I guess most kids like school. I always feel like today I hear so many mixed responses, like kids either love school or hate school. Yeah. But school definitely sounds really different today from what you do. Yeah. To. Yeah. Uh, because we got, like I said, you know, we got first intentions that the teachers really took time um, with you, made sure that you understood what they were what they were teaching, and and one thing I, I do remember one of one of the things that we would do, particularly in an English class, we would have like a spelling bee. Yeah. It was lying around. Around the wall and and just spell words. <laughs> and that was kind of fun. And, and you know, and if you know, and if you didn't know the word, because I remember I had to spell the word and I misspelled it one time. <laughs> you always remember that one word. Oh yeah, I always remember that one word. It was against. <laughs> And I misspelled it, and uh, so I had to go to the board, get a dictionary. I had to get a dictionary and look up the word against, and write it on the on the blackboard fifty times. Oh no! Yeah. And I bet you probably never misspelled uh, it again. You better believe, because that's the one thing you never wanted to know. Didn't want to know that you could spell the word. So, <laughs> yeah, I got that one down. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. So and and it wasn't you know. Once you think of now, that I think about it, it wasn't to embarrass me. You know, like most kids would have felt you know really embarrassed by doing it. You you called out among your peers, you know, you have to mm -hmm. But you know, it was to make sure that you know, you did learn. Yeah. You did learn, and I uh, appreciate that. You know. Yeah. Uh, and 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 that was the kind of personal attention that you got from 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 your teachers. Um, our principal, Mr. Harris, he was a stern, he was stern. His thing was math. Oh, God. Sometimes you hate for him to come in your, in your room, in your classroom, because he, he would visit every classroom, and you know, he'd give you another math problem to solve. And uh, if you couldn't solve it that day, when you came back to school the next day, he would test you <laughs> on that particular math problem. So, what would happen if you got it wrong again the second day? Well, you're going to work that problem till you got it right. <laughs> it just, you know, it just was no giving up. You know, you're not going to yeah. give up. You know, you're going to solve this problem. So he was, he was big on math. You said that was the principal? Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. What was his name again? Mr. Harris. H-A-R-R-I-S? Uh -huh. Was a disciplinarian. <laughs> yeah. I think that's something else that's a little different from schools today is discipline is a lot more low key. Like yeah. you might get sent away from class, but nothing really like too scary, I guess. Well, it wasn't it wasn't scary. I mean he just made sure you you're going to be where you're supposed to be, and not doing the thing that you weren't supposed to be doing. And if nothing else, if you got caught, you had to come and sit in his office. And when you go in there, it, it wasn't like you were just sitting in there. You were doing something. You, you were either doing homework or he's giving you another problem to solve. So. 
that was painful enough. Yeah. <laughs> Having to sit in his office and doing homework, solving his problems, you know. But, uh, So I, you know, I, you know, I hear stories about. Well, of course, you hear it on, on social media about all the bullying and stuff like that. Stuff like that would never would have happened at Ada Jenkins. Now nah, that would that stuff would never happen because the teacher would actually go to your home with you and sit down and talk to your parents. And this is what you know Garfield did today in school to. James or Mary and you didn't want that to happen. You, yeah. know, you didn't want a, a, your teacher visiting your mom for something you did wrong in school. Because she got a, that was a double whammy. For sure. All the more reason why you would come to school and do what you're supposed to do, come <laughs> to learn. That's pretty much all the questions I have for you. Um, do you have any other stories you'd like to share? Mm -hmm. no, I, 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 think, uh, I think that might be it. Well, it was a really great interview. Thank you so much again for your time. Oh, thanks. I really appreciate it. And these were some great stories you shared with us. I appreciate it. And I'm glad that, you know, that they're trying to keep the history of, of this school, you know. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, I know especially for Georgia and everyone else who works here, it means a lot to them to really know what Ada's legacy was and keep that alive through the different works they're doing. So, Because this was, well, the school itself and what it did for the kids in this community um, will never be forgotten. And I think a lot of the students that were here, that started here, mm -hmm. uh, have gone on to do, you know, great things only because of what was instilled in us here at Ada Jenkins. Mm -hmm.